So what is a kingpin on a semi truck? How does it wear? Why does it fail? And why should you maintain it? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Adam here at TAT Express, where we break down real truck issues, no fluff, just facts. Today, we're diving into a critical front end component that doesn't get enough attention, the kingpin. Whether you're a driver, fleet owner, or a new technician, understanding the kingpin setup can save you thousands in repairs and downtime. So let's talk about what it is, how it wears out, and how we check it, and what happens when it gets ignored. So what is a kingpin? Now let's start with the basics. The kingpin is the pivot point between your front axle and your steering knuckle. It allows your wheels to turn left and right. It's mounted vertically through the end of the axle beam and your steering knuckle pivots around it. Here's your axle beam. Kingpin goes through the axle beam and your steering knuckle rotates around it. The kingpin doesn't ride on metal. It rides on bushings, usually made of composite or bronze. Pre-sized, here's the kingpin without the axle. Now you're also gonna have thrust bearings, shims, grease seals, and sometimes caps. So how does it wear? Over time, these components take a beating. The kingpin shaft can wear down from friction. The bushings get egg-shaped from turning and lack of lubrication. The thrust bearing gets crushed or cracked, especially under heavy loads. And the grease is often the first thing that gets neglected. So you have the kingpin shaft, the bushings, the thrust bearings, as I mentioned, this is where a lot of weight is at. Your grease seals that keep the grease in place. Now, if you don't grease this assembly regularly, say every 5,000 to 10,000 miles, dirt and water can sneak in, and that's when metal to metal contact starts happening. That accelerates the wear. Let's talk about how we inspect kingpins. There are two types of play to check for. Vertical play, up and down, lateral play, side to side. Here's how we do it at the shop. Jack up the steer axle, place a dowel indicator on the axle beam and measure the vertical play from the top of the steering knuckle. Use a pry bar under the tire to lift up. Watch the dowel indicator. Anything over 10 hundredths of an inch is usually excessive depending on OEM specs. Then rotate side to side while watching for slop. If you hear a clunk or if you see the knuckle moving away from the axle, that's lateral wear. If you don't have a dowel indicator, you can still feel the movement by hand, but it's not as precise. Now here's the part most drivers and fleet owners overlook. Driving with worn kingpins causes tire wear, especially feathering and cupping on the steers, wandering, loose steering, or play in the wheel, brake pull, uneven alignment causes poor brake contact, component damage, puts extra stress on tie rods, wheel bearings, and even your drag link. Safety hazard. Worst case scenario, a completely failed kingpin can cause you to lose steering control. And it's not just about safety. A worn kingpin left too long turns a $15 to $2,000 job into a full axle replacement if the board gets waddled out. So what makes a proper kingpin job? Press fit bushings. These should fit tight. Loose fit means early failure. Test fit kingpin. Should rotate smooth, but not loose. Set in play with shims. Grease points aligned and lubed. Inspect and replace thrust bearings and sealed. Post install inspection. Measure vertical play again. We always recommend using an OEM or high quality aftermarket kits. And don't forget a post repair alignment. So to wrap it up, kingpins are like knees on a body. If you ignore them, your entire front end starts failing. If your truck is wandering, chewing through tires, or clunking when turning, don't wait. Get it inspected. At TAT Express, we take the extra time to properly measure and inspect kingpin wear. And we don't just throw parts at the problem. Our goal is to keep your rig running safely and longer. If you found this helpful, hit that like button. Subscribe for more real world diesel content and drop a comment below if you've ever had a kingpin job done. The good, the bad, or the ugly. Thanks for watching. Be safe out there.